method with the simulator R. Because the simulators do have some form of a procedure, but they're not very good. None of them might be in our way. So we still do the case of factors for this. A company obviously the case factors for the internal cardio is time to waste. The, the situation we usually have is either atmospheric fluid embolism or pulmonary tumbled embolism. We need a full body management that allows cardiac vampires and I think it's useful to have some feedback on how well that cardiac vampires perform. This is an example of the simulated by birth and the previous feedback where they were facing the hands in the right place and they were actually having the right uh, frequency of uh, the Breach and retention of the upper coming head. That's a situation that's very rare and that's a useful to practice. Certainly, a great situation to be able to And then the first part of the pandemic cycle. Now, it's very useful to have all the aspects of good communication, all the aspects of teamwork uh, trained in a simulation scenario resulting uh, in the whole operator or the team. There are other situations that you can practice on, on simulator, but we've got the ones that are mostly used in the majority of courses that have been developed in Europe and in the United States before what they're just made most of it. Maybe it's thinking that, okay, this is maybe very useful for lots of fun and people actually um, having getting more experience, but does it make a difference that much? Because the fact that people go to these simulation courses actually change outcomes, but this has a lot of evidence that it does. The evidence from observational studies uh, carried out in 2000, 2005, that it makes a difference. That before training, um, this study was by Group of Bristol, before training there was at bar score less than 6, 5 minutes, 86.6 per 10,000. Yet it was reduced to 44.6 per 10,000 after training, in the years before training. And hypothesis is key to simulate the velocity, a very important uh, outcome, decreased from 27.3 to 30.6 after training. And training here was concentrated in a single year, in the year 2000, 99% of the labor was attended, uh, or the labor was start attended. So there's uh, on data from observational studies which suggests that it makes a difference to outcomes. In the same group, it makes a difference also to the incidence of neonatal injury at birth after children's exposure. 9.3% before training, 2.3% after training. Same type of study, same type of, of training. There's data also from other groups in the United States uh, reporting that there was a, a decrease in the incidence of obstetric cerebral plexus injuries after training. Same type of operational study, 0.4% training 0.14%, significant reduction of training. Not just one group reporting several groups in the literature. Uh, similar uh, studies are looking at uh, the diagnosis between, uh, the interval between the diagnosis of the white prolapse and 
depending on the lab, dedicated generation centers, should it be done in the hospital, should it be done in the university, not a lot of things on that. Problems on how to fund it, because as we will see, it is quite expensive to set up these uh, generation-based courses. How to get started with them? Uh, in some countries, it's very easy to get started with them, in others, it is not. Sometimes it's easy to get junior staff to attend, senior staff to find it more difficult to attend on practical perspective. And the big question is how often should staff attend in order to then keep up their appearance? No, no uh, answer in the literature on this. It's a time consuming course. There's a number of people who can participate in businesses. It's a very real hands on experience. It's quite an involving experience for most people. So it's time not only for those who are giving the courses, but for those who are attending the courses. It's quite a learning. Uh, a small group of open course, many people. So it's difficult to find course leaders, people who have the time and the motivation to get into these courses and to create the motivation for those participating in courses. So the senior staff have difficulty in participating in most different reasons because if you come up with both, Thank you. 